We're going to Dubai and Muscat. So in a couple of days, it's going to be Andrew's 40th birthday and we decided we want to mark it by going to the Middle East. His sister, my sister-in-law Vicky, actually lives out there with her husband Stephen. So we're going to fly to Dubai first and then we're going to drive over to Muscat where they actually live. And it's going to be so much fun, I can just tell. So I've actually got a plane to catch and I definitely want to take you guys with me. So let's just get going. So guys, this is where we're staying. My sister-in-law and brother-in-law organized this. Look how incredible. So at the moment, Steve's just ducking in the kitchen. <laughs> He's over there. So this is our kitchen and living space. And then you go through there and we've got the balcony. It's raining actually today, so it's quite cool. You go through here and this is our view. Apparently there's bars and clubs across the marina over there. You can see the flashing lights and people party way into the night. You can get a water taxi that takes you to the sea. And I'm gonna show you our bedroom. So you go through here and then this is where they've given us the nicer bedroom because they're lovely. And so this is where Andrew and I will be staying. Isn't it incredible? Look. So again, we've got, that's me over here. So again, we've got like an incredible view, but obviously you can't see it because of the windows, the massive windows. But yeah, that's us for the next few days. Hey guys, I thought I would check in with you quickly. So we've been here for the last few hours. We've been chatting on the balcony, having some drinks. It's actually past 2 p.m. right now and we're trying to order some takeaway. It's so late and it's a weekend here. It's Thursday, so just before the weekend and everywhere is super busy. So it's been a bit of a mission trying to order this takeaway, but you'll see if we're successful or not. <laughs> Morning guys, this is our view. So it's the next morning and we're headed to a brunch for Andrew's birthday. It's going to be amazing. It's in this nice plush hotel, I think. I'll tell you more when I get there because then I'll know more. guys so I'm just checking in it's the next day yesterday got really really messy um, messy as in like kind of crazy and lots of like drinking lots of partying so I didn't vlog anymore after that so we've just woken up we've had breakfast we're getting ready because we're going to go and watch a Rangers game so the Rangers who is the team that Andrew supports they're like a Scottish football team they're actually over here in Dubai luckily and we're going to go and see them we're going for a little walk around the marina and we're going for lunch now. There's so much construction noise around me, I don't know if you can hear me. But yeah, it's really beautiful. It's been raining a lot in Dubai, which is very unusual, but it makes the temperature a bit cooler. 
which is quite nice to be honest because Andy gets really hot and uh, I'm just wearing a little cardigan and a cover up right now yeah so lunch and then football here we go here we go again trying hard but you want to be my friend ain't no place to hide ain't no one to run to here we go here we go again come on bluff i'm gonna be here to the end so we're on our way to pick up andrew's friend and we're in the car we've had lunch and we're gonna go and see the football if you don't wanna change i can help you out i can help you out so we won the game by six nil as you can hear everyone's like super excited so yeah just heading back to the car and then I think we're gonna go for dinner at this place called Lockstock, but I'll let you guys know when I know more. I can help you out. So we've ordered Domino's just before we head out for the night. Mm. So we're all ready to go, and we're going to go to a place called Lockstock and Barrel, which seems to be quite a happening kind of bar slash restaurant type thing. Not quite sure, but we'll see when we get there. Um, so it's a group of us that are going and it should be a fun night. I also wanted to put in this clip of us meeting Steven Gerrard, the Rangers manager. He was also a famous premiership footballer back in the day. He just happened to be at Lock, Stock and Barrel on the same night that we were. He was incredibly gracious, he posed for photos, he even had a long conversation with Andrew, a gentleman through and through. Here we go, here we go again. Time is up and I'm calling up my friend. Hey guys, so we're back home now and as you can see we had, an, or as you saw, we had an amazing, amazing night. And look at this backdrop behind me, it's just bloody incredible. So tomorrow the plan is that we're going to do some more touristy things if we can. It's supposed to rain pretty heavily tomorrow and then the rest of the day will be taken up by driving to Oman because that's our next stop. We're going to Muscat baby! So guys, we're ready to go. It's absolutely chucking down with rain, so hence the hat. Um, this is all our packing. All that serious fears. So it's been a bit of packing madness at the moment, but we're all out. We've checked out of the Airbnb and we're going to try and do a whistle stop tour around Dubai and then we're off to Muscat for a road trip. We're at the Marriott Hotel and we're at the observation deck where you can get like a 360 view of everything in Dubai. our whistle stop tour of the sites in Dubai. We've hit the road. The guys have just gone into the petrol station to get some snacks and water. And then Stephen, that's my brother-in-law, is saying everything's like desert, desert, desert. So I'll show you like whatever footage I get. And yeah, on our way to Muscat now. Hey guys, 
guys, so we just passed the border. Um, they checked our bags and everything, but it wasn't like crazy thorough, but it was a little bit scary, just probably because it was an unusual experience. But yeah, we're through the border and we're in Oman. So that's our dinner for tonight. Um, we have a lady called Emmy who helps Vicky and she's made all of this for us. She looks after the dogs. She's done all this food. Mm. So guys, this is our room. I don't know how much justice we can really do to it because obviously we've got our stuff and I'm basically kind of in the middle of unpacking. But this is our bedroom and that's a little TV over here. That's me, hello, hello. And um, so we go through here, we've got cupboards and wardrobes. Some of them are full, but this one's like, for example, completely empty that we can put our like coats and stuff in here, um, or jackets. And then here we've got the bathroom, his and her sinks. And we've got our shower, which I cannot wait to get into. So brilliant, I'll show you the rest of the house a bit later. Um, but yeah, that's us for now. guys so it's the next morning i think we're gonna have a quite a chilled one today because the last three days have been super hectic i'm gonna get showered and ready and we're gonna go for lunch because it's like nearly 12 so we're not bothered really with breakfast might get a coffee though so yeah we're just gonna go for a walk along the marina i think um they live in a really nice area in oman so we're gonna get, have a look and the sun's kind of outish it's been a bit dodgy weather in the middle east um where we've been over the last few days but things look like they're gonna clear up soon <laughs> just at a hotel called Kempsky Residence, I think. So you can even live in this hotel if you wanted to, and they'll just take care of you and stuff. And it's, it's pretty impressive, very grand. <laughs> So we've had lunch and just now on our way back to the house, not sure what we're gonna do, maybe go to the pool, maybe just chill out, but yeah, it's gonna be a very relaxing day, I think. So everyone else is out walking the dogs and I decided to stay home and just do some editing because I actually am keen to put up a video tomorrow for my minimalism channel or my YouTube channel rather. It does have a huge element of minimalism in it, but Obviously, as you can tell by watching this vlog, I also vlog my life and it's just about intentional living and basically my entire life. We're having a cheeky Nando's. So this is us the next morning with the dogs. They've come in, joined us. So Andrew's just made me breakfast, a nice scrambled egg and some coffee, yum. Hey guys, so I've just got ready and I think we're on our way to go and see some camels. After we come back, I think the plan is that we're gonna go and see my aunt this evening. She actually lives here in Oman. Her and her family moved over here many years ago. And yeah, I've not seen her for 10 years, so I'm really excited about that.
Hey guys, sorry I didn't update you beforehand. We're just on our way to my aunt's house, so I'll show you my outfit and what we get up to when we get there. But we're kind of rushing, well I was actually, because I was packing, because we're staying over. Hey guys, so we've just had dinner and it was great. Vicky and Steve are off and we're staying the, the night. It's so lovely. They've given up their room for us. They've bought new bed sheets for the bed for us and they've made it very hotel-like. Sorry, I've got the hiccups, but I'm, I'm vlogging through the hiccups because nothing will stop me from vlogging. <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next day. Yesterday we spent like all night chatting. This morning we've been chatting. I don't know if you can tell but the weather has been atrocious. So the rain's just come off a little bit and we're on our way out. We're going to see my uncle's university. We're going to go to a mosque and I think we're going to have a traditional Omani rice called Mande. So I'm really looking forward to that. But I better go quickly because I don't want to get caught in the rain again. I guess you're back. Are you gonna tell me where you went? All the messages I sent with no reply It's like that You're just gonna walk into my room So we've just come to my uncle and auntie's local mosque and we're gonna take a little peek inside if we can So we're in this traditional restaurant where they serve Arabic food We're getting chicken and a whole selection of meats basically. I'll show you footage so you know exactly what it looks like. I'm really excited. We're sitting on the floor. We've got these cushions to lean up against. So this is how they eat in a traditional way. So we're just experiencing that today. Okay guys, so I'm tucking into my rice and a bit of camel and it's absolutely delicious. I'll show you. Mm, it tastes just like beef. So this is a traditional dessert, it's called kunafa and we're going to finish off our meal with this. Mm, it's got like cheese in it and it's sweet <laughs> and it's called uh, vermicelli. No. Sorry, that's my aunt in the background. So we're back at Vicky and Steve's now. It was such a good day. I had such a fun time. It's really hard because like you don't get to see your family as much as you did before. Obviously, we've moved to the UK. We spent some time in Bangladesh where I was really close to my Bengali family and I still am, but you're separated by so much distance. So I had a really, really good time. But we're back now and they're just having fajitas, but we're so full after that dinner that we had. There's no way we can eat any more, but maybe a bit later. I think we're gonna watch some TV, probably Love Island and a bit of Black Mirror. I've introduced Steve and Vicky to Black Mirror and I'm so chuffed, they absolutely love it. They love it as much as I do. So that's gonna be good. So it's just another chill night for us today. Hey guys, so it's the next day. We're at Starbucks, I'm having a coffee and I got myself one of these spinach and feta pretzels, which I've never seen before. So after this, we're gonna go dune bashing. It's something that I've wanted to do for ages. And then we're gonna to go to a really nice hotel and have a view across Oman, a rooftop view. We're gonna go for drinks and food. glad rags ready to go to a place called crown plaza apparently they have the best views of oman you get to see the sunset we've booked the table for five so we should be able to see the sun going down really excited for dinner really excited for drinks so yeah it's going to be a fun night
flat for a quick outfit change and now we're on our way to go and get some shisha which I absolutely love. I don't make a habit of it though because smoking is bad for you. So we're going to take this buggy. Where do you want me to sit? I'll sit with Stephen. Shall I sit with uh, Vicky? Right. Ooh! Oh, you can go on pavements and stuff. Yeah. 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 So we've had a brilliant night at the Shisha and then obviously the Crown Plaza earlier today. We're on our way home now and we're just going to chill a bit more and chill with the dogs, watch some TV. So it's been a great day. So it's the next morning. It was so good last night. We just went home, chatted and now we got like a really long ride. We actually all woke up past 12 o'clock. Anyway, we're gonna go and have a brunch at um, one of the places nearby. It was closed earlier um, when we tried to go in the week. So I'm excited to see it. It's gonna be a light brunch and stuff. So yeah, looking forward to it. So this is our normal kind of morning walk. It's not a bad life, is it? So we've just had our brunch and we're heading to the supermarket to get some meat because Stephen's got to make a barbecue for us tonight. So this is Alfie and he's one of the cutest dogs ever. It is so hard to get him to sit next to you like this. Sky's a bit more like affectionate because she's the girl. Hand that Sky over there. But yeah, Alfie, he'll just sit beside you when he feels like it. So we came home, chilled out for a bit, played with the dogs, and now we're going to go to... Where are we going? We're going to go and see some dogs, basically. Vicky looks after wild dogs in Oman because they're not treated the best and sometimes they won't have enough food. She actually looks after a shelter as well. We're not going to go to the shelter today, but we are going to go um, and see some of the wadi dogs. They're called wadi dogs, the wild dogs over here. So he's come out of nowhere. This is the wadi dog that Vicky kind of rescued. And look, he's so excited. Normally they don't come up so close, but this one does because he's familiar with Vicky and Steve. Oh. One. She's a little bit more timid. That's Rosie. Oh. The preparations for the barbecue are underway. Steve is our chef. Mm -hmm. And that's what he's up to. So this is where we're gonna have our barbecue. So everything's lit up, lanterns lit up. We've got the barbecue all lit up and going. And then through here, this is our seating position. There's Alfie there. We've got these nice lamps. I don't know if you can tell how pretty they are through the camera, but they're really nice. And then you turn around and we've got the TV all set up. So yeah, it's gonna be a fun night tonight. Hey guys, so it's our last day on our holiday, so we're gonna go to the pool now, chill out for a couple of hours. Um, I doubt I'm gonna get into the pool to be honest because I've got a bit of a cold, but I'm just gonna sit by it, sit by the pool, chill in the sun, and maybe go through our holiday photos, and then we're gonna come back, get packed, and then it's the long journey home. <laughs> Just watching everyone in the pool and like, I'm sunning myself in the sun. I should really get out of the sun but it's so nice and obviously not going to experience this back at home in the UK. Just heading to our boarding gate now. We're at Muscat Airport. We're on our way to Dubai. 
So we've just landed in Dubai. It was a super quick flight. It's only like an hour flight. It was really nice because they gave us some snacks and I was starving. So I definitely want to go and get some food first. Then we're going to charge up our phones and then it's a seven hour flight back to the UK. We found ourselves in like a pub, bar type situation. Normally we wouldn't go somewhere like this, we'll probably go to a prayer or something. But I'm so hungry, like I want a full blown meal. I think I'm gonna go for a hot dog and fries. Mm. And Andrew's ordering spaghetti and meatballs.